Hello everyone and welcome back to Silverstar Arcade and more The Wild at Heart. In the last episode, it was revealed to, we walked around the uh, the grove and met some of the other green shields. And, you know, we were kind of explained that the green shields are in order to help stop the never from escaping the woods. And we also found out about stick figures, which was a very powerful... Uh, nope, we're getting a call. Wake, you are in danger. Night has fallen soon. You must get somewhere safe and quick. The dark is bad. Make haste for the nearest camp or return to the grove. We green seals find it best to just sleep till morning when it's safe again. If you do find yourself out at night, I would advise you to seek out pockets of light. Never gazers can't stand it. Oh yeah, would you look at that? Off in the corner. Well, we're not going to risk it. We know what happens when we stay out at night. Um, yeah, so as I was saying, um, let's see. So as I was saying, you know, we found out about a lady who died, and now she is part of the forest. Kind of controls it. Oh, yep. You can see we're heading into nighttime. And we were given a task to help find the other green shields, which is kind of these things here. And so we're going to be going to this one. But first, we're going to go sleep. Yep, sleep till morning. Alright, well, we're going to want to try and make good progress today. I think we're really getting into the... Right, I don't mean, you know, no pun intended, but the, the heart of the game. Alright, let me just quickly go grab my guys. Withdraw. Alright, let's go, guys. You know, it's super convenient that uh, we as a kid just so happened to build a vacuum and that every single contraption in this village is controlled via the power of suction. That's, that's extremely convenient. And lucky. Anyways, always make time for these things because, you know, I have a feeling that... We're getting close to the part where the game will not hesitate to take these guys from our hands. Alright, let's go. All right, here we are back in the heartlands. Let's get, oh yeah, that's right. We didn't get rid of these the first time around. Let's just get rid of them now then. everything as we go oh hey th these things came back perfect hey no you nope I don't need that Store those. 
Okay, alright, so we can sleep here. Alright, let's just take a look at our map. Um, ah, yes, so we need to go down here and off to the west now, so... Up there. We need 20 to get past there. Okay. So that's not for us yet. No. Oh, just random nuts and bolts lying around. So it looks like a lot of this stuff replenishes by day. So, and it looks like these stumps can all be taken out, which is not something I originally knew. Uh, oh, no, I need to go further up. Okay. I'm trying to do my best not to get too distracted here. Because I know, like, we need to, we need to at least make some headway and find a camp. So that we don't get caught up at night time. Ah, my nose has been bothering me. You ever have that thing where like, it almost feels like there's a cut in your nose. So like, like whenever you move your nose, it hurts. Wisp wagon. Danger! Route clouds due to blaze blob infestation. Half moon pond just ahead. Okay. Oh wait, can I send them down that tunnel? It would not appear. Here, so. Okay, maybe we aren't supposed to come this way yet. Hmm. Right now, we should just try to figure out what that thing is. You know, the thing that we can see here. Because I feel like if we try to take on those blobs, all of our guys will just die. Because I do not think they have any immunity whatsoever to fire. Pretty sure there's a fire immunity guy somewhere else. I do kind of wish that there was, like, uh, that one Pikmin thing where, like, you could, you could, like, just send them all in charge without having to throw them one at a time. Like, uh, like the bum rush strategy. Alright, well, let's see if we can stash some things. Let's stash that. And stash that. Let's hatch. Let's hatch another... Can we hatch all 19? Yeah, we have the stuff for it. Yeah, sure, why not? Spritling capped reach. There are too many spritlings in the field. Newly hatched spritlings have been sent to spirit well. What do you mean? I can only have 15? Well, if I knew that, I wouldn't have made all of them. Like... So I have 29 total, but I can only have 15. 
So I can't even have the 20 that I need to move the boulder? No. No, I guess not. Oh, I didn't know 15 was a derivative of 3. Oh. Alright, so it's daytime. It's no longer morning. It's, it appears to be midday, so we're already losing some daylight. It appears that boulder is fractured. Perhaps you can craft some explosives at a camp nearby the clearing. Oh, I did not think of that. Sure, let's see if we can craft some explosives. Yeah, you know, you know, the normal things that kids know how to make, like napalm and such. Loose part, loose part, and... Sure, a tin can. Unknown I am a simple ramshackle contraption with a variety of uses. Sure. Makeshift flare, a simple ramshack contraption with a variety of uses. Drop them to breadcrumb a trail or get a little break from the creative to the creative explorer. The possibilities are endless. All right, well then, how about a bottle, a makeshift part, and okay, no, a tin can. Uh, no, that's a makeshift flare. That's also just a makeshift flare. One person's junk and another person's... Do I want to make that? Ah, uh, what the hey. Hopefully I don't regret this. Recycle junk, one person's junk in there. Nope, still just junk, but hey, at least it takes up less space. Might also fetch some scrap. More scrap than normal, so it was a waste. Complete another waste. I should not be this stumped at the beginning of the game already. But, I don't know. I guess we could try and run through the blobs. Like, that is something we could try. Let's see what happens if I throw one of the... Alright. Let's just... Run through. Okay, never mind. This was a bad idea. So we can't even get through. Alright, well then, let's just... Ah, crap, 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 crap. 
No! Ah, great goat help! I killed them, I'm a monster! Be calm, child, they have not died. At least not in the way you're thinking, not in the way you or I would perish. These spirits have simply returned to the forest. But I saw them explode. This is the way of the things in the deep woods. Perhaps you have seen Spryl and Pips in your explanation. They appear to seed and grow from colorful gourds found throughout the forest. If you guide these Pips and make the veneers, you should be able to hatch them back into Spryl form. Spirit well, that's a glowy blue tree trunk thingy back at camp, right? Glowy blue thing indeed. You do have a way with words, young master. Off you go now and... And be well, you have done no harm to our forest friends. Just remember, find pips, return them to the spirit well then. Uh, so I thought I could rush past them. Seems to me like a whole lot of nothing is getting done in this episode. A little more guidance. Like It, it seems like, hey, you can go anywhere you want, but you clearly can't. Goals. Rally and bring them back. Remember and mark their map sites. When you found them, I'll return the alright. Tips and tricks. I oh, guess yes, an intriguing new trip you might like to hear. There exists a magical gorge called Pip Squash. Have you seen them? I have a solid stack. No, I'm good. Hmm. There's another wall up here, but it's all the fire thing, so I don't think I can do anything with it. What the? Can I get rid of this? Oh, I can. Good. Come back here. You'll get lost. Get Come here. Okay, there we go. Now he's rejoined. need a lot of these because I feel like these guys are going to be very easy to lose. We could travel all the way back but I don't see much point in doing so. Maybe we just need to travel back up. That seems like the best course of action currently. Whoops. Yeah, yeah, just traveling back up seems like the best course of action. Choosing a different direction and all that. Sorry I haven't been talking much, I'm just a little lost. I'm also very, very tired. Oh, ugh, I don't know if you heard that. I think my jaw just cracked. Oh, no. Whatever that thing is, I do not like it. See, so we were supposed to come this way first. What was that? B 
Beware the crud. Safety humans, but deadly the spritelings. I'm assuming this stuff is the crud. Wait, how many do we- 15! Perfect! Why do I- I thought I only lost one. Why do I- Oh, there's the shell. So there's red guys, but I need to get past the crud. And it's getting close to nighttime. Alright. Music's getting weird, so... Alright, where's the closest... Where's the closest camp? Well, first off, let's make sure... It does not appear as though I've left behind any spritelings. So I guess we'll just go back to the grotto, or the grove, or whatever it's called. Ugh, that's real creepy music. Yeah, no thanks. So let's let's withdraw some spritelings. Uh, you know, what? let's just sleep till morning. So already I'm not off to a good start. It's taken me a lot of days to actually, you know. Alright, withdraw. Let's grab 15 of these guys. Alright, at least now we know what we gotta do. So, we can get something done today. It's bright and early in the morning, let's get something done. Money for that, okay. Weird, I can't even touch it. My hand just goes right through. Can the spritelings touch it? Maybe a specific type of spritling has to touch it. Honeycomb, harvested from the hive of, of a bumbee. This honeycomb sweet and sticky properties make it a rare, tasty treat. Okay, now separate from me. Good, so I can walk through this stuff. But I need some. Oh, I get it. Let's grab a few of you. I guess we'll grab all of you. Okay. Now, we just super vacuum them. Perfect. I am a genius. Alright, so you guys just plop that on. Perfect. Now, I want you to figure out what's going on with this guy. Oh, it's a cat. Perfect. OK. 
Okay, now then let's just bring that down. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Alright, so we got all our guys. Now let's go and get some new guys. Hey, you come here. Emberlings. Imbued with fire. Emberlings are excellent fighters and immune to extreme heat. They are also capable of sparking a fire when thrown at dry brambles in large groups. Spritling capacity has increased by 5. Hold R to change between spritlings. Hold L to issue spritling actions. Oh, fudge. I need three of these guys. What is this? What do you mean my bag's full? Okay, well then drop that. And Fever Shard. Sprouting from the fiery blister root, these devilish thorns work to protect the plant from would-be predators. When crushed, they can be used for their attack boosting effects. Okay. Well, that's just... Wait a second. Something's not right here. It says I have three missing. Why does it say that? One of you pick that up. Oh, it's these guys. Okay. I got worried for a second. This thing's busted. I bet one of those Springer thingies is lying around here somewhere. Oh, you want to fight? You want to fight? Not even a contest. Not even a contest. Okay, but now we got these fire guys, which is great. And there's some more up ahead. And it's still morning, not even midday. Perfect. Oh, there's quite a few of them. I wonder, can the Spriteling, can the Spriteling pods be used for uh, all of them? Or like, does each one have their own kind of thing? Pip Squash Fact 3. It seems the types of pips dropped by Squish can be largely influenced by a type of Spriteling hit in it. Grey Coat says we're out of budget for these things, so I don't have to do them anymore, thank god. Alright, so in that case... I want only these guys to attack me. Oops, no. Wait, uh, alright. All right, everyone pick one up. We need these things, like desperately. Especially if we're going into the fire area. But we still don't have a way to get rid of the brambles. Okay. Alright, yeah, I get it. I get how the game's being played now. Alright, do we have a camp nearby? Oh, wait, we have 20 of these guys now. Which means... Oh, we only needed 15 for this. Drop what you have. I 
granted. Oh. Drop what you have temporarily. So you can push this. Alright, perfect. Now once you guys are done pushing that, I'd come back. How far are you pushing that thing? Alright. Now pick all this stuff back up. Because we need this all. Oh there, you seem to have located one of the lost implements from our many inoperative facilities in the grove. This can aid us in restoring some of the many amenities our settlement can offer. See if your companions can aid you in this collection, would you? How many do I need? Ten? I think I have enough. I think I have ten. Nine. Ten. Perfect. Uh, I should actually go with them, make sure nothing attacks them. Which way are they going? Oh no. That's a problem. If they want to go this way, that means we're going to have to clear everything out. Get up! Get up! Get up! Okay, I don't think I lost anyone. So all of you stop. Go back to picking up all your stuff. So there's a bridge here, so that's what they were trying to focus on. Wait. We're missing one. Oh. He was blending in quite well. 35, so we're not going to be done here for a while. Where's the rest of the sticks? Are they just on the other side? Or are they up there? Ah, darn. Alright, you know what? You guys just, just come back. Like, as long as the bridge is done. Oh, it's not. There's still two things left. got this. There we go. Now we just need you guys to do that stuff. There we go. Now let's... Let's get you guys on this. Come on. What? Why? It is a little finicky. It does seem. Alright, there. But now I'm confident we can escort this. And once we got this, that'll probably be the end of the episode. I'd love to find a way to upgrade our inventory space. Because no doubt having heal not items on us at all times will be a good thing. I don't know why they wanted to take this route though. Well, I guess it's a good thing I had no reds. But where are they? Wait, where are they taking that? Oh no, oh no, oh no. I, I. What?
Ahoy, we've just received the soul shell. Wonderful news. When you are able, return to the grove so we may begin our repairs on the facility. Alright, drop. Okay. All of you go pick up your stuff. What? Did one of you not? Yeah, there you go. I got so nervous because I couldn't see where they were going. The grove or central deep woods. Okay. And there's a camp here as well? Oh, look at that. How perfect. Dang, this thing's clogged up good. Looks like it needs a strong pull to clear it. It's all right. Boom. And oh, now we've set up a camp. What's this? Ah, we've stored so many things. Alright, well, let's take a look at this page we got. Tinkerer Extraordinaire. Extraordinaire. -er. I don't know how to communicate laughter in a journal entry other than onomatopoeia. So just know that I laugh as I write this. He he got his head stuck in a kettle. He dove into a pile of scrap and wedgewood head first when he emerged his thrashing and swearing in consternation. Then, after a few minutes of struggle and with a muffled sigh, seemed to accept that it wasn't coming off. How does one even accomplish such a feat? Ah, so that's how Scrap Heap got a tea kettle stuck on his head. Can I say we hatch all six? There are too many spiders in the field. Yeah, well, we want to have as many of them as possible. And actually, right for right now, we might want to have a nice mix. So let's put back five and take out five. Okay. So let's have the red guys do it, because I feel like we're gonna wanna... We're gonna wanna have a lot of these red guys. Picking these things up. Okay, so the red guys can go in the water. That's good. Alright, and they automatically take it there. Alright, which is great. Let's store some of these. Okay, alright. So, I guess now, if we wanted to... Oh. I was about to ask what's going on with the music, but then... Yeah, it's... Starting to turn the night time. Oh, well that's good. want to see what happens. So like you can, if you want, play throughout the night. Oh, this music is doing a real good job of being extremely creepy. Oh, it is now officially nighttime. I wonder what happens if I'm just gonna, for safety precaution, put all of my spritelings away. 
and step outside of the ring. Oh, dude, look at that. Oh, what? I can defeat them? They don't seem to come out that frequently. I wonder if it gets worse and worse. Oh. Oh, wait, why was I able to affect them that one time? Yeah, so he'll just sit there waiting. Yeah. Alright, well that's real cool. Wow, this episode ran a bit longer, but it makes sense, you know, not much got done. So, in the next episode, we'll, uh do a bit of cleanup and we'll do a bit of cleanup and we'll prepare for our real big first exposition so once again thank you so much for watching and as always stay safe have fun and have a great day